Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your image and then go to your layers toolbox and go down and click the duplicate layer icon. Now go up to filters, enhance, unsharp mask. I have my radius set to 50 and I have the amount set to 1.50 and the threshold is left alone at zero. Go ahead and press OK. Now you're going to go over to this layer and you're going to duplicate that layer. Go ahead and push the duplicate layer icon. Now you're going to right click on that layer and add layer mask. You're going to want to make sure white full opacity is selected and press add. Then come over and select your fill tool and make sure you have black as your foreground color and click inside the picture you're not going to be able to see this because it's the layer mask that we're filling in now grab your brush tool make sure the foreground is now white make sure the opacity is at 50 and select the fuzzy brush tool and have the scale at 10 and you're going to just go over the face and highlight it. You're highlighting where the white spots are, where the light spots are hitting the face. Okay, now we're going to come back over to our layers toolbox. And remember the previous image that we duplicated, that's the one we're going to select. And we're going to duplicate it again. Now the layer that we just made is going to be the third from the bottom. And you're going to drag it up above the top layer. So it's going to sit on top of all the rest of the layers. Now we're going to go over to Filters, Edge Detect, Neon, and set your radius at 5 or 6 and the amount left alone at 0 press OK now we're going to go to mode over in your layers toolbox and push screen and this is what you should have so far and now we are going to again duplicate the top layer and we're going to set the opacity for this to 50. Now right click on the top layer and select flatten image. And you're done. We now have an HDR effect.